Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you very much. I've had a good time tonight. Thank you so much for coming out. You guys are unbelievable, man. You fellas in the second row, let's go. You guys look like you, uh, <laughs> you look like you know Scooby-Doo personally. <laughs> I mean. government and what's the second game? Sunglass Hut, fucking opposite ends of the spectrum, yeah? Thank you for your service. Sucking the energy out of this moment right now. <laughs> I literally, I literally, I literally thought this guy was gonna Will Smith me. The way you were walking down with your mustache and you were just like, ah, just Denver zombie. 420s in two days, but I started today. Ah, fuck. All right, where are you going? All right, there we go. I heard some guy uh, say boo when I said I don't smoke six. Who was that? Was that you, Kinnicky? What's going on, dude? <laughs> oh, Grease Lightning, oh, Grease Lightning. You fucking look at you, dude. I said, what is it now? Cigarettes are, Cigarettes are good. Cigarettes are good, yeah. Are you getting paid to say that right now? He's definitely the cool camp counselor. He's like, you know what's cool? Eating pussy. Mr. Larson, cigarettes are good. <laughs> What's your name, dude? Uh, Max. Max. It took you a second, are you sure? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Max, what's up, dude? I like your mojo. What, uh, what do you do here in Denver? Uh, I work for Tech Let's go, dude. Can we give it a little shout out? Uh, Josh AI. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Who's, uh, AI is cool. Yeah, what can we, uh, I don't know. AI, some people think it's taken over, uh, getting in the way of, uh, of humans kind of doing their thing. I just heard that like AI, there's like robots, not like robot, like I just saw, read some article that was like, what like guys are by, is AI considered like sex robots? Is that part of the AI? What do you, whatever floats your boat, yeah. Okay, so you said you, that, that like you maybe have a couple of these robots at home, yeah? What about AI is, should we be concerned about? Is it kind of, uh, you know, some people are spooked out about what it's doing. I just do the, the business development, so I couldn't tell them. Yeah, well, you're, okay, you definitely do smoke cigarettes. Did you hear? <laughs> I mean, dude, you look 14, but you sound 75. <laughs> Did you hear how he was like, yeah, cigarettes are good? I was like, yeah, what about AI? I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's neither here nor there. I mean, I just, uh, I'm uh, having a tough time on the development side currently, so I'm not. You know, I'd fuck a sex robot, but I wouldn't program it, you know. You work at a dispensary? Yeah, you do? Well, what's the name of it? Green Valley Dispensary. Green Valley Dispensary, what's up? Right by the airport, dude. So I just fucking grab... <laughs> Come by, grab a nug, so you can get high before you get hired, dog. <laughs> dude, that's... Please tell me that's the Green Valley Dispensary slogan. Because why else would you locate yourself in such uh, proximity? Oh shit, so people land and they come right to you. And then they come before they leave too. Oh. What? Oh, before, okay. Teach, you could teach me how to fly home? Okay, what are you, what are you talking about right now? I feel like we have moved on from pot, and you're like, dude, I have six bags of acid in my cargo shorts right now. Do you want to fly like Falcor from Never Ending Story? Teach me how to fly home. Now, how did you get into the pot uh, business? What's your first name? AJ. AJ, let's go. What's that short for? Uh, Alexander. Alexander. And what's the J? Jacob. Jacob, let's go. And did you decide to shorten it up, or was that? Uh, yeah, let's go. Too long. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, you're like, yeah. And also probably your employees are like, Alexander, <laughs> just give me a couple letters, man. <laughs> Sweeten this up. Fuck yeah, was that the dream to work at a dispensary, AJ? Uh, I got hurt you got hurt in construction, what were you building? Eight Let's go, dude. Like 14, 14 feet. On a kitchen hood. Fuck, dude. <laughs> All right, and then surgery? You raw, raw dog? <laughs> By the way, Rod, like he raw dogged what? Just life? Yeah. Bro, what's going on in that head of yours right now? What a great guy to fucking see. That's what I'm talking about. You ever meet somebody that's so fucking, you fucking, that's not the first time you've said raw dog in that type of context. Like that's such a much, what a cooler way than, be, yeah. Okay, so you fell onto a kitchen hood and then off the kitchen hood. Yeah. Well, oh, fuck my bad, dude. <laughs> and then, well, okay, then you just smoked and nursed yourself back to, uh, to recovery, yeah? <laughs> and what do you like to do when you get high, AJ? What's your go-to move? Uh, work. Work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> I walked right into that. What do you like to do when you get high? I mean, just go to the place where I get higher and help people achieve their dreams as far as weed goes. Sometimes I won't even wash my mouth when I hit a bong. I'll just raw dog that shit, you know? You're a housekeeper? I appreciate you, bud. Yeah, it's all good. I don't want to be that comment that's like, you shut the fuck up! No, I appreciate it. Well, let me, uh, riddle me this. How long you been housekeeping? Let's go. A uh, pretty uh, lucrative job? In LA, I worked for a long time and saw a lot in high-rise hotels. Any cool celeb uh, houses that you got to fluff up? A lot of dead bodies. A lot of dead bodies. Ooh, not what I was asking, yeah. But what? <laughs> what the fuck? All right, well. Yeah, no, you can't just skip over that and move on to the actual. So anyway, I saw Oprah's house and, uh, no, no, what, why did you see dead bodies? It, oh, in the hotel, oh my God, yeah. What hotel specifically, so I can avoid that residency? <laughs> Holiday Inn Express, what are we talking? Hi. Uh, what, uh, I know of that hotel, what are the, you opened it? Yeah, and then fucking closed it, it sounds like too, yeah? <laughs> What, uh, wow. Okay, so, uh, and this raw dog to your left, is that your guy? That's right. You guys just met tonight? You guys just met tonight? Oh, great. Are you both here solo? Cool. What's that? Thank you, yeah. You guys do feel like the perfect match for some reason. Like, she's like, I saw a dead body, and you're like, did you fucking raw dog it? <laughs> did you fucking uh, fuck that dead body? <laughs> I mean, you guys. See you guys. Is that it? AJ, is that it? No, I gotta transfer money to pay for my drink. Oh, bro, I got you. <laughs> Sit down, baby, I got you. Yeah! Yeah. Come here. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Um, just out of curiosity, how much did you drink tonight? <laughs> I got you, I got you. <laughs> He's like, hell yeah, man. I met like 16 guys in the bathroom and bought them all double shots of vodka. You cool picking that up? Dude, I love that you're throwing them back, dude. You a big wine gal? Not a, not a big one, no. What a sultry, smooth, not a, I enjoy the occasional Chardonnay from time to time. Not a big one, a small glass. Not a big one. Where's that uh, accent or voice from? Texas. Texas, of course it is, yeah. You got that sweet southern draw, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Boyfriend, let's go. Uh, how, how new is this relationship? 
Four months. What's that? It's no, yeah. Mom, go to sleep. Uh, what is uh, I should have you know I took a Valium in the car before the show. Not a big one, a small one. A tiny pill goes down. It was a gummy. It was a Valium gummy. Oh, you're naughty. All right. Um, where'd you guys meet? Yep. This is somehow longer than this fucking story. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's all right. The, the abridged version, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Wow. No way. How did that week go? You, you learned a lot about each other, yeah? Mom, what'd you say? I should have let you talk. Yeah. Well, we fucking tried that, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. No, you've been perfect. What? Uh, so, what's your what's your first name, by the way? Cindy. Cindy. Great. Well, Cindy. What what is your and you guys are? Tori. Tori and Sean. What? Cindy. What is your version of uh, Sean uh, moving in with your daughter a, a week after meeting him? Oh shit! Great. Uh, first ever. Seems like a sweet kid. Yeah. I love that, dude. That's good. Okay, so you were like, he was a project, and I fixed that. No, no, that's, that's really fucking sweet. And, well, you guys, I mean, I've been, uh, you know, gauging your guys' energy all night, and it's very sweet. Now, let me ask you this. Um, uh, is, is the, uh, like, when you guys go out, do you, like, rip it up? Are you more of, like, a stay home, watch a show? Or is, like, tonight, like, going out, like, you know, Cindy's fucking, fucking, she's driving, clearly, but is she, you know, what's that? You're driving, great, yeah. I know, that was a, yeah, that was a joke. You're fucking, you're gonna, yeah. There's fucking, I've already called an Uber for you, so yeah. Uh, uh, Cindy, um, and, uh, and what about you? Oh shit, where'd the new couple go? They snuck up. They snuck up. Dude, Cindy, even you saying that was hot. <laughs> they snuck off the who knows where. Maybe the bathroom, maybe a hotel where he'll probably end up dead on the ground. <laughs> Did they really just get the fuck out of here? Did they really just meet tonight? That's what. Oh no, they've known each other. They lied, oh shit, okay, so they're all just banging it out somewhere, yeah. What do you do here in Denver, Andy? Yeah, fucking. <laughs> You're working on a trip, okay, so you don't live here. You're visiting for work, and what is work? Yeah. Oh, you can't say that word anymore. Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what do you? What do you do? I raise cattle in Oklahoma, and I sell picnic software to human beings. What? How, those are two opposite ends of the spectrum. Yeah. What? How are the? Uh, how are the cattle? Do? I don't know what to fucking ask you right now. Yeah. What? They're calving. Do you milk? Do you milk them? Yeah. By the way, did you, could you feel how he was like, dude, I ain't gay, dude. Dude, I don't milk, dude, I, real, I, I milk like real human titties, dude, not fucking, not fucking them gay ass cow. I don't get a fucking milk shot, so dude, in my fucking face. Uh, so who does, so there's people that milk them and then you, you're doing what? You're raising them? No, we just eat them. Yeah. Oh, so you're just raising them for food? Yeah, they're for, dairy cows. Gotcha. Okay, so there's a difference between a dairy cow and a meat cow. Yeah, you milk the yeah. <laughs> I don't like your fucking attitude, Andy. <laughs> Bro, if you guys could have seen what I just saw. <laughs> Dude, no, you're perfect. You didn't choose this seat, but you did choose that outfit. And your man bun and the tats and the big earrings, and I look in the corner and see you going, ha! Ah! <laughs> oh man, you're perfect. I love you, dude. Bro, give me a hug, dude. I appreciate you, man. Oh, let's fuck. Oh, you know what? All right. All right. I'll... Cindy Raincheck, I'm sucking his dick tonight. Uh,
Oh my god. Well, uh, well, I was gonna do this later, but uh, so I got, I got these, uh, I made these new Dr. Phil merch. Uh, got my face on it. They're comfy as shit. We spent a little extra on the hoodies. Says we'll be right back on the back. I'll sign it after. I'll sign it after. Yeah, I love you, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude. I paid. I paid him to be this excited. By the way. <laughs> you nailed it. I can't go anywhere. <laughs> What's your first name? Ben. 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 Yeah. Spell that. B. -E -N. B. -E oh, Ben. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, just fucking say that next time, dude. <laughs> What's this Ben shit? Ben, man. Ben in Texas. That's where I got the name Ben. All right. Uh, uh, ben, what do you do in Texas? What, uh, what's keeping you busy? I'm a sous chef. You're a sous chef. You cook, yeah. What, uh, what do you, what's kind of your go-to item? If you were to kind of cook for tonight's audience, if we got in a, a Sprinter van, drove back to Texas, what would you kind of lay out for us, uh, spread-wise, to get us fired up? A lot of Italian shit, let's go. What's the name of your restaurant that you work at? I uh, work at a hotel, Weston Hotel. Yeah, it's, you can just say the Olive Garden, that's fine. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, so, it's fine, Ben. It's a fucking, it's a, step, a stepping stone, yeah? How do people at fancy Italian restaurants look at the Olive Garden? Oh, like, it's all shit. Like, probably shit, yeah, yeah, do you, yeah. I, I take that personally, I fucking love the Olive Garden, yeah. yeah. The commercials need an upgrade, though. People aren't having that much fun. <laughs> what the fuck? Pasta Primavera? Where the fuck did this come from? It's like, dude, you ordered it, Gary. Why are you so shocked that it showed up? The kids are always so funny in those Olive Garden commercials, right? They're always just a heightened version of what a kid actually, but, <laughs> you know. When Dad first said we were going to the Olive Garden, I was like, oh, fucking yeah! I love that place. No. You gotta update it. With, like the spoiled piece of shit kids out there, right? That aren't as grateful. When Dad first said we were going to the Olive Garden, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? The fucking Olive Garden? Wow. It, you're not even my real dad, Scott. I don't have to like you. <laughs> when you're here, you're kind of family. You're kind of family. I, saw, I was at an Olive Garden once, a buddy of mine was getting divorced, and he goes, dude, will you meet me at the OG tonight? I was like, if you stop calling it that, I will meet you there. <laughs> we sat at the Olive Garden bar on a Sunday night in Burbank, California, for maybe the most depressing slash hilarious night that I've been a part of. Um, we, uh, we had um, a conversation next to us that we couldn't help but listen to. I love a good eavesdrop, okay? I'm not seeking out uh, strangers' conversations, but sometimes people speak at a level where they almost want you to hear, you know? And so we're sitting there, and these two fellows, you know, probably uh, mid to late 50s, they're reminiscing, catching up, and uh, they're cheersing wine, right? And they keep calling the, the sweet gal behind the counter, hey, bar barkeep, right? Another Pinot Gris, right? They were just shortening up the names of wines, and they were fucked up, but they were both driving a home drunk. Like, it was just... At one point, one of the guys was like, hey, WWWSD, what would Spider-Man do? I'm like, if you're gauging your choices off a fictional character, you're both getting DUIs. You know? And at one point, uh, one of the guys asks his buddy, and this is really what Peter Anderson goes, all right, Travis. So, it's good to see you, man. It's good to see you. Dude, all right. Let's, all right. Hey, first, so, hey, man. For $10 million, would you fuck a dead body? And I was like, dude, these guys couldn't have opened with a better line to get me to order another Pinot Gris, you know? So, would you fuck a dead body for 10 mil, is the uh, opening question. And his buddy goes, uh, well, is it a guy or a girl? <laughs> Weird follow-up. His buddy goes, well, what does it matter, they're dead. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm on this guy's side. Like, what are you complicating this scenario for? <laughs> to which his buddy says verbatim, well, I don't want people thinking I'm gay. <laughs> I was like, okay. Well, if you're fucking a dead body, I hate to break it to you. People thinking you're gay is the least of your concerns. <laughs> you know who Johnny Damon is, the baseball player? Yeah, is that not... Is that not Johnny Damon or the lead singer of Nickelback? Well, 
Tinder. Or did you and your gal meet? Uh, Tinder, actually. Let's go. What, what was your first name again? Jaden. Jaden. And what, what was the opening line that uh, Dustin reeled you in with? How you doing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Keep going. Oh, wow. Okay. This is why you asked the questions. Whoa, all right. And then you said... I'm great, how are you? I'm great, how are you? <laughs> no, okay. Oh, my God. I don't know why I was doing it so far out, by the way. I just realized, I was like, oh, bring it in, man. That's, bring it way in. Uh, <laughs> not too far, but, you know. <laughs> Split the diff. Um, I like your tats. What do you got there? Egyptian stuff, fuck. I'm 41, I kind of want, what, you just you're taking your shirt off. Wait, what is that, uh, what is that one right down the barrel? It's a who? A mandala, of course, yeah. What, uh, what is it? it, yeah, it looks like that uh, thing at the end of the necklace in the Never Ending Story. Have you seen that? No, haven't seen the Never Ending Story? Oh fuck, how old are you? You're 25, 40, oh fuck. What if, what if I kicked her out? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Wait, so, Turn around, look at what you see. Never ending story. That means nothing to you, huh? How about uh, Falcor, the flying dog? That, no? What? Oh, this guy. <laughs> what? No, 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 not in my city. Oh my God, dude. So much rage for such a fucking. Who was that? Let's, let's go, dude. What's your name, man? Brian. Brian, thanks for having my back, bud. <laughs> Brian, uh, what do you do here in Denver? Uh, bartend. Let's go, dude. Is that the dream? No. Yep. <laughs> Brian, take me uh, back to a time when Ryan was full of life and dreaming <laughs> through the roof. What were you aspiring to be? Uh, a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be right back. <laughs> what were you dreaming to be? Exactly what I'm doing right now, man. When I was six, my dad made me, <laughs> made me make him Jack and Cokes, and hey, I got pretty good at it. Let's just say. <laughs> That's awesome, dude.